A federal grand jury has been looking into a local mayor that the seven investigators first told you about last year. This report exposed allegations Leroy Burkroft used his campaign fund to cover $4,300 in expenses for his daughter's wedding and $15,000 in donations to his church. Shortly after it aired, the state opened its own investigation. Now the Fed's involvement raises the stakes even higher. Tonight, 7 investigator Ross Jones has more on what the grand jury is after. Did the campaign, sir, pay for any portion of your daughter's wedding? After the 7 investigators questioned how Romulus Mayor Leroy Burkroft spent thousands in campaign funds, a federal grand jury had questions of its own. The Wayne County clerk confirms tonight that their office received and complied with a subpoena in July seeking six years of records from Burkroft's campaign. Matthew Schneider is the former U.S. attorney for the Eastern District of Michigan. And a lot of the time, federal investigations regarding campaign finance, they might start out as a, an investigation of the campaign violations themselves. And then they turn into the fact that maybe the candidate violated the banking laws or the wire fraud laws or something else. The subpoena was issued after we revealed how Burkroft used campaign cash to pay for things like yacht club memberships, a new Jeep Wrangler he said he used for work, and part of his daughter's wedding. In July, Burkroft admitted that some of the expenses may not have been proper. He reimbursed his campaign $20,000 and announced he would not seek re-election. But, says former assistant U.S. attorney Anjali Prasad, You just can't unring the bell. I mean, you can give the money back, you can get out of politics, but there's some things you just can't walk back in the eyes of the United States Department of Justice. Grand juries operate in secret, so why the records were subpoenaed is a mystery. But multiple former federal prosecutors we talked to said it is possible the grand jury's questions stem from other corruption probes already in the works. Government investigations, they might spin off into different tangents, and then the investigators, they don't stop. They keep looking wherever there might be a crime. To date, no one in Romulus has been accused of any criminal wrongdoing. We did reach out to Mayor Burkroft's attorneys and the FBI for comment and did not hear back. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Ross, as always.